I'm trying to make a game in Unity, and I know nothing. Clearly, it isn't that intuitive. Or maybe it's just me. Because every single step of the way, I had to look up a YouTube guide or ask chat Jippity. I started off by buying some pixel art assets directly off the Unity store. I figured they would be good for me to learn on and possibly even use for my project when I'm ready, which I've titled Project Project. I'm hoping that I get to the point where I can create or modify my own assets, but a learning journey for another day. So I downloaded Unity and started it up. It recommended a basic tutorial, which I figured was a great idea. It had the steps integrated right into the project, so I couldn't actually click next until I did it properly. I worked through each mini lesson with confidence. We're talking the very, very basics, such as switching from the view tool to the move tool, moving objects within the scene, scaling objects, making the sprite move faster, and dropping a new sprite into the scene, which I'm guessing sprite is just characters? Then I went to create my first project, starting with not knowing what type of project I even needed. ChatGTP told me I needed a 2D URP, which I had to follow up on as I guessed that meant universal 2D, but I didn't wanna just guess, especially not after pouring hours into a project to find out I was wrong. Next, it was how to even add tiles to a scene. I imported the pixel art into my project from the Unity store. I don't even remember what I did really other than clicking open in Unity directly from the store, but whatever I did, it seemed to work. I am sure I will have to do this again at some point, so I'm not too worried about it, and hopefully the second time around I'll actually retain the information. Also, it seems I didn't have to do any splicing, so I guess that's pretty awesome too. Adding just a single layer grid, I tested out my assets. I struggled a bit here. I so badly wanted to click on the asset tab and paint from there, instead of selecting assets from the tile palette. Then I struggled to navigate the tile palette. For some reason, the only way I seemed to be able to move through the tile palette was by zooming out and then trying to zoom in where I wanted to be. Surely there has to be another way, especially since this method makes it extremely hard to view tiles on the edge of the palette. Then I struggled to view and scroll within the scene itself. I feel I must have accidentally turned a scroll lock on or something, as I thought I had did this in the platform basic tutorial from earlier. This is when I realized I might be over my head, as I am struggling with basic navigation within Unity, not within a game, but through the tool itself. I also found some great tutorials on YouTube, and I found a few from Game Code Library that I've been working through. So this is where I left off for my first day of using Unity. I have three main issues that I need to figure out to progress. The first issue, I need to set up layers such as ground layers so that when I place trees, shrubs, or well, anything else, you won't see the void of nothingness in some of the cells. Exhibit A. It sounds like I'll need to create multiple layers so that in the long term, I can create collision or lack thereof. So if I wanted a sprite to walk through a flower versus hitting it like a concrete block, I can. Or if I wanted to create a fence made purely of flowers, I can do that too. The second issue, I also got stuck when I added a character. In the mini tutorial, our hero could already walk. In my new project, I immediately needed to change the gravity. Anytime you would hit play in the scene, the character would just fall down off the map. The next step, however, is where I got stuck. I needed to add a component, new script, and then call it something like player movement. And then open that script. However, it does not open for me. It is like I don't have it installed, but online it says it should install by default with newer versions of Unity. In tutorials online, Visual Studio just opens. Forums say that I need to set Visual Studio as my default program to open scripts. I don't even have the option to select it. If I go into the package manager, it shows as installed. I really think I just need to go to Microsoft's website and download it. I see three different types, so I'm going to do a little research on which one I need and give that a shot. At this point, my brain was just mush, so this is a problem for another day. Adding to that though, I thought Unity was pitched as something that can be done without really knowing how to code. 
but this looks like code to me. So I might take a step back for a moment and try some of the Unity learn lessons that start right from scratch to do the type of project I wanna do and see where I end up from there. If I must learn some basic coding, so be it. I do remember being in middle school and learning about HTML because it was cool to create your own website and show it off to your friends. However, this didn't look like HTML. Thankfully, my husband is a developer, so he might not know Unity, but thankfully he knows many languages in code, so I'm not completely helpless over here. Now that you have my backstory, here is my third issue. All the tutorials I watch for a pixel style art game say to splice your tiles as 16 by 16. All my tiles are pre-sliced and the environment pieces look great. The characters are also pre-sliced. However, I am seeing some conflicting information. It says 16 right here. Pixels per unit in the inspector, 16. If I go to splice the sprite, selecting grid by cell size, 16 by 16, they now look cut off. Maybe it's one of those things where you're messing with something that doesn't need to be messed with and now it's a mess if that made any sense at all. However, I am completely unsure on this. So it's something I'm going to have to look into. If the character sprite is bigger than a 16 by 16 and your environment is 16 by 16, I have no idea if that is even okay. I don't know if you can just scale things. I don't know what you can work around and what has to be. So I'll have to do a lot more digging here. And I suppose a bonus issue, not necessarily an issue, but something I need to learn. I have no concept of map size. Is my map a couple of steps, an entire universe, or the appropriate size for a housing plot on a farming sim? Which is the goal? I suppose once I figure out the character stuff and I start walking around the map, that will give me my answer. So perhaps I just need patience for now. Well, that is it for day one. I know I didn't accomplish a whole lot and I feel I left with more questions than answers, but honestly, I am even happy I got this far. So thank you so much for tuning in. And if I don't do my gaming guide tagline, especially for my Guild Wars 2 community, I will hear about it in the comments. So keeping to routine, I hope that was helpful. I hope you enjoyed incoming tagline. And I don't know, maybe see you around. Oh, and uh, for those of you who might be new here, that means maybe see you around in game where we can slash wave, say hi, and show off all our cool mounts and skins. Bye. Hi, I'm Tiffy Miss Whiffy and welcome to my channel. Wait, what's wrong with my voice? <clears throat> Hi, I'm Tiffy Miss Whiffy. Wait. Ah, oh, much better. It would seem I was just tired and in need of some caffeine. If you'd like to support a creator, check out my Ko-Fi page in the description below.